Yeah, I broke off. Big one. That's a big one. He pulled drag. He had it. He had it. He was running with it. I broke my, my reel. My fish come off. You lost a fish. God bless America. To be fair, that reel's 30 years old. It's lived its life. <laughs> Huh. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Be Fishing This. Episode is sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. Everything I'm gonna be using is from Carl's Bait and Tackle. If you are interested in subscribing, joining the Carl's Club, um, relatively cheap, and you get a 30% off on almost everything in the store. Buy the stuff that I buy where I buy it. Hit the link in the description get you some baits. What we're gonna be doing though is we're gonna be using some Guggen baits, we're gonna be using some other drop shot baits. I don't know that I'm gonna get off the drop shot bite today. We are overcast, it's raining. Um, the fish, the, I mean the temperature right now is right at 60-ish. So the fish are starting to pull up. Should be catching a lot of males in some very shallow spots today. Um, I've got Brandon in the back of the boat with me again today. What's up? And uh, we're going to try to get on a finesse bite. You know, I'm, I've been really killing the finesse game lately. Oh, got some water on the lens. Dry y'all off because I care. We'll try to do some finesse fishing today and uh, hopefully, hopefully get a solid limit. Um, maybe not size because we're, we're really looking at buck bass. I think the big females are still deep. Um, and I'm not really too concerned with them. I'm concerned with the males crashing the bank really more than anything to get an idea of what's going on on the water. So that's gonna be the name of the game today. We're gonna to try to put some in the boat and have a good time doing it. So uh, stick around, let's do this. Hey, it's Carl. Welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. I may have to go back to my drop shot. I went back to the shaky head. Just trying something different. That's a bite. That's a big one. That's a big one. He pulled drag. I don't know. I don't think so. No, I don't need it. I say he's a big one. He ain't a big one. I just, my drag must be loose. He's a nice size one though. It's definitely water spout. You cold fish. Well, that's a good little fish. So we got this little guy. He's a little one for this lake, but he, they're, I mean, they're thick. I mean, they are thick boys. That's what you get this time of year. That is what you get this time of year. Let's let him go. Let him slip back, slip back in the water for me. Yeah, he hit it and started going sideways. Yeah, I saw him. He, he was coming straight to me. The thing was, when I set the hook on him, that drag slipped, and I was like, uh oh, he's a big one. There's one beating the bank back over there. Yeah. I'm wondering if they're. Oh, yeah, it's 62 degrees in this water. Really? Yeah, they're going to be moving shallower. Yeah, they're going to get ready to, to be going in here. And if that's the case, because it was not 60 out here like last Friday, it was, I think it was 57 or something like that. Yep. There's a nice little spawning pocket back there that we may have them just staged up right on the edge of. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're back here, Brandon. They're gonna be right on this, this side where these trees are in the water. I just watched one splash off of them, so we should ought to be able to pick one or two off. Oh, I got a fish on. No, I don't. Not where I wanted to be hung up either. Huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, they're, they're here. And so I'm leaving that in the water. So just watch out for it. I don't want to screw the spot up. I get, well, you get two lines in the water once per period. 
Look, he's already got it. I already got it, that's the male. I already got it. The minute it hit the water, he grabbed it. I wonder if the female's there already or not. Once he stayed in the same spot and he went and splashing, he was just bowling. He kind of gave away his location and I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can get right on top of him. I made that really bad cast and got that shaky head hung up and then I was, all right, well, hang on, let me grab this drop shot and see if I can't entice him. First cast in there with it and he just took it. There his ass is, come here. Stop, let him get it. I sock fish that damn thing. There we go. That's what we're talking about. All right, well, I'm gonna circle back and get my shaky head now. Uh, now you, you got, you, you got, got one sight fish, and I got a sight fish. That's what we're talking about. Well, that was fun. Oh. <sighs> keep, them, keep them happy. <laughs> Very simple switch. Oh, I think I got one. Nope, nope, just hung on something. Thought he was swimming at me. Yep. I had pressure and he was just swimming at me. Hold on. Oh, no, you are. No. Lost my worm. That's the dragon drop from Guggen Squad. That's it. Hey, look at his tail. He's got a little cut on his tail. Uh -huh. A little bit of blood right there, look. Yeah. Hmm. I might have to get one of them from you in a minute. What? One of these dragon drops? Yeah. I think I've got I've got one more in that pack, but I think I've got another pack in there. Another pack. Yeah. That's a beautiful bait. I mean, oh for real. It it really looks nice. It's called the natural. It looks good. They've got several different colors, but that's called the natural. That little bit of white pearl on the bottom. That's what my wife calls me. The natural. The natural. Feels heavy. Get him. Bigger than you thought. Bigger than you thought. He was running with it, but didn't he didn't even hit the hit the thing. That's a fat little turd. I'm telling you. Damn, fat. What? Oh shit. Oh. Well, uh, he swallowed that thing. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. He wanted that one. Yeah, he did. He wanted that one. He ate it down to his butt hole. Almost. That's one of the better fish we've had today. Look, so again, it's the same thing. A big fish, look at the mouth. Yeah. It's like it's a hybrid. Yeah. He's gray looking. He's I'm, not green. I mean, come on, man. All right, buddy, thanks. This worm has about had it. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna call it because it's, its head is chewed up. I got one more left, at least in this color. I've got more colors in here. I just don't remember what I got. When I said I got more, I may not. Well, that's no good. We're living on a hope and a prayer on this one. Yep, a good one. Yeah, he's just fighting hard. Yeah, baby. Look at that fat fish. Good gosh almighty. Look how fat that fish is. I know it. Look at that fish. Short and fat. That is a fat, fat fish. Short and fat. You wore my ass out. You beat me like a daggum drum. Uh, I just had to figure out the pattern. Now I know they're in here because I saw them. Saw one bowl over there, saw one bowl over here, but they just may not be eating. Either that or they may actually be already on bed and they don't, you gotta really piss them off and I, I can't see it good enough to get it in their face a couple times. Oh, dang. That's gonna be difficult. Got it. Uh, Christina likes grouper and grouper is very flaky too. I 
Oh, you got to be shitting me. He, I broke off. He had it. He had it. He was running with it. Yeah, he broke off. I mean, I threw it behind me. I know. I know, and he hit it. And he, he hit it on the fall there, and I was like, oh my gosh, it's running. It's big. And I set the hook, and it just ping. Yeah. I don't have any more of them drop shot hooks, I don't think. I've got some drop shot hooks, just not those drop shot hooks. Yeah, dang, I can feel the line. The line was a little bit frayed. Dang, that was probably a good fish to be behind me like that yeah. in the deep. Yeah. Dang, she's probably a good fish. We back in business. Now I've lost my worm, so I got to figure that out. Maybe, maybe I put them in here. I swear I packed some more. No, I didn't. Although I do have those. Oh, I got these. These are, oh yeah, these are money. I forgot I packed these, boy. Yes, sir, we're in business. This ain't a catch co brand, but you can get it on Shop Carl's. Let me tell you, for the price and the amount you get, three and a half inch Smalley Smasher, same thing. Yeah, look at that. Same, same thing. Same color. Um, we, we back in, I knew I packed something like that. I just couldn't remember where. I mean, I wouldn't want you to start catching them like I've been catching That's, them. I, I know it. I know it. I've been, I've been seeing it all day long. I'm trying to find something in my box that's, that's worth, worth throwing. And, oh, my word. He's just, yeah, that, that little shad thing was good right there. There you go. That's what I want it to look like right there. Oh my God, I had those. That takes the edge off, at least. That takes the stress off. Yeah. Yeah, you were, you were about nervous. Right? I was. I was like, dang, what am I going to throw now? That's, that's virtually the same thing. It's just a little bit fatter. Yeah. I mean, the hooks are gone that I was using, but the hooks I've just put on, VMC drop shot hooks, will be fine. Running right up to us. That's a decent, decent little fish. That's a decent little fit. Oh! Now look what happened to me. I broke my... I, I broke my, my reel. The fish come on. You lost the fish. God bless America. To be fair, that reel's 30 years old. It's lived its life. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Woo! So that's gonna do it. Brandon, you got on some fish today. It's not like last video. You got on some, time. You got on some fish today. Still whooped my butt. Well... I'm a, prof I'm a YouTube professional. <laughs> I mentioned this video is sponsored by Shop Carl's. Again, get in the, the description, hit the link. It's where I buy all my baits is what it's gonna be labeled as. And uh, sign up for a Shop Carl's membership, the Carl's Club, man, that's where it's at. If you wanna save money on baits, if you go and you spend as much money as I do on tackle, if you spend at least 150 bucks a year, the thing pays for itself. So just think about that. All you have to do is spend 150 bucks on tackle a year and it's already paid for itself. You ever spend 150 bucks on tackle per year? I ain't spent 150 bucks on tackle in a decade. Lies. <laughs> Lies. No. Hey, and, and what were we catching? That, that natural colored Guggen? Yeah, the Guggen baits, that, the, the natural. Wearing what, it out today. That's what I'm talking about. I ran out of them because, you know, I need to buy more tackle. And I was using the Big Bites baits, that Smalley Smasher. Oh my goodness, that is an awesome, awesome little drop shot bait. Um, Brett, Brett wouldn't give me any. I, I, did, I forgot, I, I, forgot I had them. I forgot I had them. I didn't forget. I didn't, I didn't actually forget. I just didn't want him to use them all. Anyway, we're going to get out of here. As always, if you don't mind, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. Get in the, then in the description below. What is your favorite thing to fish on a drop shot? Like, what bait should I be looking at outside of the Guggen baits if there is one? I don't know that anything beats the drag and drop. That drag and drop is just so flimsy. The fish can get it in their mouth. Even the small ones can get it in their mouth, get to the hook. Uh, but I need to know, what is your favorite drop shot bait? And as always, if you haven't already, hit the red subscribe button, turn it from red to gray, hit the ding dong notification so you know anytime we drop a new video over here on bee fishing. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. We gotta get in, it is, it is raining now. Raining. It is raining on us now. Y'all have a good one.